More often than not, when you think about the weather in Moscow, you think dreary. Cool and overcast in the summer, cold and snowy in the winter. What you don't usually think about is wind. But on May 29, 2017, severe thunderstorms sweep over the Russian capital, sparking some of the most powerful winds in memory. So this super strong thunderstorms moving through Moscow, ripping So what we might be seeing here is a dry microburst. In other words, a downdraft, a strong wind that comes out of a thunderstorm without any rain. You have a very dangerous situation with these big branches blowing through the air in this uh, strong wind that's probably gusting up 50, 60 miles an hour. Which makes you wonder why anyone would choose this moment to take a walk. Oh my gosh. The tree is just falling over, and those are not twigs. That's a big branch. <laughs> Look at that massive tree. And that guy, you want to talk about time? They say when thunder roars, get indoors. Well, if the wind is roaring, you should get inside as well. Unfortunately, on a day like this, inside isn't necessarily the safest place. Bam, wow. That thing just exploded. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow. If you have winds that are gusty and sort of unpredictable, it could find that right little spot, that little point of weakness. I mean, that hole could have been maybe two or three inches wide. And once that wind gets in there, it's, it, it's gone. So exactly what kind of wind are we talking about here? It's known as straight line wind. You can get some very strong winds that come down out of a thunderstorm. They hit and they spread out. Sometimes they can be strong. Sometimes they can be incredibly damaging, kind of like this. How strong? Strong enough to deliver a startling surprise to this unsuspecting pedestrian. Oh my gosh, you want to make sure you're kind of aware of your surroundings because something like that could be heading your way. It looks like a serious injury in the making until our pedestrian emerges miraculously unscathed. But the most amazing thing about the clip is he just goes on like any other day at the office. That guy was inches from being crushed. Just la-di-da, I'll walk away. What do you think's going through his head? After a few seconds, the dumpster goes along on its merry way. Those things aren't light, they're heavy. And yet, it looks like a toy when you have wind like this. Which brings us to the case of this so-called Healing Pyramid, a spiritual center and tourist attraction on the outskirts of Moscow. Built of fiberglass panels in 1999, it is 144 feet high and weighs 55 tons. You would think that a pyramid's pretty much of a proven structure, right? It should be able to withstand uh, quite a bit. During the storm, Slavic shamans are inside, holding a spiritual ceremony to honor their ancestors. Once the ceremony ends, the participants exit, seemingly oblivious to the gusting wind. What happens next? Think you know the answer? That falls apart. What just happened to that structure? The fact this structure is out in the middle of nowhere means that there's nothing around it to stop the wind. This is just made of heavy cardboard, really. I mean, it's fiberglass panels. It's not that sturdy of a structure. The storm results in 16 deaths and more than 200 injuries, making it the city's deadliest weather day in a century. A storm is rated as severe when it contains one or more of the following. A tornado, straight line winds gusting in excess of 58 miles per hour, or hail one inch in diameter or greater. April 11th, 2016, a family watches in disbelief as mother nature pitches softball-sized hail at their brand new home in Wiley, Texas. This is just really bad luck for this family. They hadn't even unpacked their boxes yet. And we're looking at every window being destroyed by the large hail. It's why we all have insurance for the rare event where Mother Nature says, nay, nay, that is not gonna look new anymore. 
As giant hailstones pour into the interior, homeowner Donna Ruth Cole struggles to keep her young son safe. Come, come, come. Get in there. Get in there. You would think that during a hailstorm, looking at the window at a safe distance would be okay, but in this situation, you had some pretty substantial wind to actually push some of that hail towards the structure and right through those windows. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that hailstone. Holy cow! If it gets to be baseball size or larger, flying at 100 miles per hour, is like getting hit in the head by a Major League Baseball pitcher, and it can prove fatal. Oh my god! What that family needs to do is get an interior room or in the middle of the house so they can avoid the flying glass and the hail flying through the window. Well, we are definitely going to have some roof damage here and like 50 broken windows that are still shattering glass everywhere. I'm sure the mom is thinking, oh no, how much is this going to cost? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Yes. I think I'd be crying knowing all the cleanup that would have to happen. Just hail in your house, melting ice on all your carpets. Well, now you've seen our house. Um, it wasn't exactly how I expected. And I'm a little bit shaken. Not the welcome that you would want to the neighborhood. Coming up, rain takes its revenge from Eastern Europe to South America. When Weather Gone Viral continues.